Hello, everyone. Welcome to our first edition of Wine by the Bay TV. I'm your host, George Bachara. Um, a little bit about me to start off. I've been in the restaurant business, uh, hospitality for over 28 years. Um, I currently left the uh, hospitality industry because of COVID, frankly, and I kind of missed it. Uh, everybody's more interested in talking to me about wine than what I normally do, which is insurance. So I thought I would make this blog to kind of keep my roots with the, uh, with the wine world and share a little bit of my knowledge and taste some wine with uh, new friends on the internet. Uh, so let's get started. First of all, I wanted to uh, give a shout out to my sponsor, which is my agency, the Goosehead Agency, the Bachara Agency. Um, we're located in Clayton, but we work all in California. Um, we specialize in life, home, and auto insurance. It's the power of choice. We shop with over 40 different companies across the spectrum of the market. So if you're looking for insurance, definitely give us a shout out. Um, there will be a link in the description box below. So just follow that if you have any questions or if you'd like a free um, insurance evaluation, no obligation, obviously, but uh, we can probably make things a little bit better for you. So that's business. Let's get on to pleasure. So I've chosen two wines uh, to taste this evening. Um, first one is a white wine. Next one is a red wine. I went with uh, California to start, being that we're in California in the San Francisco Bay Area. And that's what we're going to focus on um, primarily. However, I will expand to the old world. We'll do some Italian. We'll do some French. Uh, we'll do some other parts of the country as well. Um, eventually, I'll be uh, venturing out into restaurants in the Bay Area with the interesting wine lists, and we'll talk to some of the people that put those lists together. But um, I went to the store and picked out a couple of very approachable wines at reasonable price points to get started. Um, and so I thought, let's let's start right there. So let's start with the uh, with the Inglenook, which is a Sauvignon Blanc. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a 2017. Sauvignon Blanc. We'll pour a little bit of that over here. And let's make some space here with our current wine. So the 2017 Ingle Nook Sauvignon Blanc is from Rutherford and Napa. Um, it got uh, 92 points in Wine Advocate. Uh, it's got 13.6 uh, alcohol by volume. So it's going to be a really great wine. Oh, by the way, before I get going, I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to open. Uh, these wines are all been open for two hours. Um, this is a pretty optimal time to let the wine breathe. And, you know, most people don't have five or six hours to let wine open. Um, so I would say two hours is a very reasonable thing when you're drinking for yourself. Um, the, these wines were not decanted, but again, they were open two hours. So I'm kind of trying to... Uh, I'm trying to uh, simulate a situation in a restaurant if you weren't home and you didn't have a couple hours. So if I was out in a restaurant, I would probably decant one of these wines and maybe it would be an hour. But anyway, uh, let's go back to the wine. So we've got our Sauvignon Blanc. First thing we want to do, I always like to do, is check the color against the white page. And it's got a little bit of a golden hue to it. Not too intense, so it has a little bit of clarity. Sauvignon Blanc doesn't tend to be very dark unless it's in a Sancerre, which is a sweet wine. I'm oh, sorry, Sauterne, which is really a sweet wine. But this wine, I have a feeling is going to be pretty good. I'm not a big white wine fan, let me say that right now. I'm more of a red guy, um, but there's, a, there's definitely a time and place for white wine, not at my table, but in most people's tables. So I'm going to go ahead and not discriminate and drink some white wine. So let's give that a sniff. Wow. Actually, not too bad. Um, I'm getting a little bit of lemongrass. Really get in there, everybody. I mean, I know most people probably know this by now, but in case you don't, get your nose in there and really experience the wine. Wine is a full sensory uh, experience. You don't want to just drink it. You want to smell it. You want to look at it. You want to taste it. You want to think about it. Um, and in this case, there's a lot going on in here for a Sauvignon Blanc, which again, I am not a big fan of white wine, so this is actually more impressive to me than probably to most people. A little bit of citrus, maybe a little lemon. It's got a little sweetness to it, maybe a little oak. Let's give it a little taste. It's really coating the tongue. 
it does have more of a lemon lemon lime kind of flavor to it once it's on the palate a little bit of that sweetness goes away it's it's refreshing but i wouldn't go so far as to say it's overly bright which is something something on blanc to me if you don't go to the right producer or if you don't use oak can be a problem it can be a little bit too bright by the way these white wines are not served ice cold I know it's a common misconception to throw it in the refrigerator and get it out to 38 degrees, but you don't taste anything when you do that. Um, I'm not saying you should do it room temperature like I have it, but I'm trying to taste everything. But, you know, not cold. Probably 50 to 55 degrees is where you want to be on your white wine. So, let's do this one more time. actually rather pleasant rather pleasant um this wine uh was i believe 38 dollars excuse me 34 dollars um listed at uh costco i don't go to costco to buy all my wine but there's a lot of really good wines at costco and when i thought about something approachable that everybody would be able to find i thought costco would be a really good choice so this is the ingle nook sauvignon blanc 2017 and i would say 90, 92 points. That sounds about right. I would probably agree with uh, Wine Advocate on that one. So I'm sure Wine Advocate will uh, will sleep easy knowing that we agree. And let's see what else we're going to do here. So now we'll move on to the red. We have the Segesio 2019 Zinfandel. That's from Sonoma. Okay, now it's not 100% Zinfandel. It's actually got a little bit of blend going on. Um... It's got a little Petit Syrah and Carignan mixed in, American and French oak. And the funny thing is that these vines were planted actually in 1895. So these are old vines, which is kind of what you want, excuse me, on a, uh, on a Zinfandel. The 2019 uh, got 92 points of wine spectator, 14 point in alcohol by volume. And we'll pour a little bit of that. And let's see what we got. Let's check the color first. Yeah, that's nice and dark. I don't know if you can see that or not. Probably not, but I'm going to try anyway. So, yeah, I don't think you can really see it on the camera, but it's got a nice dark color, which you would expect from Zinfandel. The edges don't really fade away, so they don't bleed out. So that means the wine is, you know, kind of mature, which is good. That's what you want. If it's a little bit too light on the edges, you're probably not going to get the best experience. So that's really nice. Let's uh, swirl it around and see if we can unlock some of the finer points. Hmm. Yeah, it's got a lot of berry nose to it. Mixed berries, I would say some blackberry, maybe some raspberry. Just a little bit of oak. It's not overly oaked, which is good. That's nice to see. Sometimes, you know... When you have more modest priced wines from uh, larger producers, sometimes they can over oak it. And uh, luckily that, that didn't happen here. So this is, I'm actually kind of excited to taste this. All right, let's give it a taste. There's a little bit of spice to it. It's kind of chewy. Definitely has some berry flavor. Maybe a little black pepper. Well, wait, hang on. Maybe a little red pepper on the back end. A little dry red pepper flakes. Yeah, the pepperiness doesn't hit you right away. But there's a definite little aftertaste of pepper, which is nice. I kind of like it. It would go really well with grilled meats. Um... I believe they were, we did say 92 points. Yeah, 92 points on Wine Spectator. Yeah, maybe even 93 points. And I, I, I love red wine, and I'm kind of surprised. Um, so, Gessio, while it's a solid brand, I didn't expect this much. Hmm, it's kind of still going in my mouth, which is good. That's what you want, a nice long finish. I would say it would go really well with grilled meats. Now, 
you could also drink this standalone, which you can't always do with certain Zinfandels. So this one actually, I think this one is a solid wine either before or with dinner. So Segesio 2019, Sonoma County, Zinfandel. A little bit of, uh, little bit of uh, Petit Sera and Carignan mixed in there. 92 points. Uh, I agree. 92 points. So solid offering. And that one is uh, $18.00. A little over eighteen dollars again at Costco, so a very good value. I mean, this one is a definite value at sub twenty dollars. You could buy six of these, and uh, during the holiday season, you know, share them with your friends, and you know, you'll enjoy the wine, and you won't break the budget. You can actually buy them a present on top of it. So that's a really good that's a really good choice. All right, so um, success, success. So we've got the Segesio, and we've got the Ingle Nook. If you if I had my druthers, I would drink this and probably give this one away. But I'm a white wine. I don't want to say snob because I don't like white wine really. Uh, I'm a white wine critic, uh, but I love. I, actually, this one was pretty good too. So if someone served me that at a party, I would certainly not turn it away, but I would definitely buy a bunch of this Segesio, especially at the sub twenty dollar price. So uh, once again, I'm I'm gonna make a mess here without knocking stuff over. So once again, I am George with Wine by the Bay TV. This is our first episode and uh, welcome to the club please join us when you can uh click the like button and subscribe i'll be sending out a newsletter probably once a month so send your questions and your comments thank you